in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed We bless the name of the Lord. We bless Him in other tongues. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. God, we bless you. Thank you for the privilege of worshiping. We give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I welcome everyone tonight, inside and outside. I believe that God is set to do great and awesome things in our midst. Just pray one prayer and say, Lord, do something in my life. Pastor Jake shared a very powerful scripture. When the people begin to lament because there is no bread. Pray and say, Lord, do something. Whatever your child, just do something. Pray. Forget about whatever problem you came here with. Bless his name. Because he is worthy. Doesn't matter if you're sick in your body, just forget about any sickness, any infirmity. Lift your hands and worship him. Because God is able. You sang earlier on that he is able. If you believe it, Acts like this. Breathe upon me, breath of God. Breathe upon me, Spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands in surrender to your name, most And we're walking in the land. Jesus, I adore. Jesus, I adore. 
anointing. That's why I began to sing these songs. Songs of His presence. Just responding to the anointing. I believe that God is healing people. Right now. I believe that God is healing people. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Have your way. Sing, Lord, you are welcome. Lord, you are welcome. come to meet an idol you didn't come to meet those dead gods that are lifeless and have no power to change ye are come unto Mount Zion the living God is in the midst of his people Tell him your desires. Change us. Heal us. Set us free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Just hug and greet one another. Be seated. God will visit you tonight in a mighty way. I assure you.
welcome everyone to his glorious presence. That presence that can change, that presence that can transform you, can build you. He said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. And so I'd like for your heart to be open because God is not doing the same thing. Not when his presence is in this place. We thank him for the gift of his presence. Inexplainable but undeniable. Men can write books on faith. Men can write books on prosperity. But how can you describe his presence? Thank you, Jesus. We will visit you tonight, and your life will never be the same. We believe, we believe, Lord, we believe, Lord, we believe, we believe, Lord, we believe, oh, Lord. that cometh unto him must believe that he is Hebrews 11 verse 6 and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him every time you come before his presence you must realize that there is a reward for seeking him you are not wasting your time for he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain He's called the Prince of Peace. When he comes, he truly gives you peace. Peace is not just quietness and rest. He gives you peace. He said, peace I give you. My peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives. His presence brings peace. His presence brings Every time you behold his glory, you see how small those mountains are. This is a sign that you are in his presence. Lord, we thank you. I have a very serious message tonight for the body of Christ. Very, very serious. It's a very prophetic message. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to be ambassadors not only ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven but help your brothers and sisters and families there are many messages that have come out from here that offer guidance direction prophetic accuracy and insight to help a lot of people we made our messages free Ministries sell tapes and messages and make hundreds of millions from it. But the time for that will come. We are more interested in getting the agenda of the Spirit to the nations as many who will be interested in hearing. Let me tell you something without missing words. We have a message. We're not just crouching for what to say. For the Bible says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. The Spirit is speaking. Helping us to have an understanding of times and seasons. To comprehend the things of the Spirit. And we thank God because he is granting us grace to build according to pattern. 
we are that uncompromising remnant who will not defile ourselves with the meat of Babylon that has corrupted many great men. We have chosen the path of the spirit and in spite of the pain it will bring, we will endure. We are this army determined to stand until we become all that he has destined us to be. And let me tell you something. It may take a while, but as surely as the morning comes after a night, a day will come. It will take long. But I have an assurance that a time will come when the word of God will be scarce. And whoever has that word will run with it. The price you are paying now is nothing compared to the price men will pay for their ignorance. This is why God is exposing us to his truth. Never take for granted the things that God is doing. This is not a church. You have your church where you worship on Sunday. This is an agenda. This is a program. This is a prophetic agenda. This is what God is doing. Hallelujah. So I like to prepare your heart. Never take for granted. Don't just come casually. For every time he calls you to a banquet, a table has been prepared before you. Hallelujah. And if you will believe him enough to realize you are not wasting your time, then the time of laughter will come. The Bible says it is as soon as Zion travails. The time of traveling is painful. Every great man knows that the birth of anything valuable is painful. Some of you had to trek to come here. Some of you probably have not eaten anything. There are families, this family, this whole family, father, mother, and all the children left Kogi State this morning to come. What are they looking for? For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth the same. I see Barista from Abuja. What you think people just come, you see, this is where what men of God don't get. We celebrate these things and just think this is a sign of increase in ministry. This is nonsense. It's my desire that this place becomes a portal where the voice of the spirit will not be scarce, that we will not become part of the noise making preachers talking junks who are out of alignment with the things of the spirit that God will put his word he said he gave me the scroll and I did eat it and he said go and prophesy hallelujah that every time you come here you will hear the counsel of the spirit not the opinion of a man not the program, a doctrinal program of a sect or a religion, but that you will find God. This is why we depend so much in the Holy Spirit. It's not diabolism. We have come to realize that he's the only one who can help us fulfill this agenda. We are perpetually inadequate without him. That's why you hear us talk so much about the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people have a serious problem with that. But Jesus sent us the spirit to make us like him. He's the Holy Ghost. He's the spirit of the living God. He's the Holy Ghost. The scepter of the King of Kings. Yeah. He's the Holy Ghost, the seal of the age to come. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Jesus told us, he said, and when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. He will bring to your remembrance all the things that I've taught you. And he will show you. He will take up the things that are of the Father and show you. 
Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call unto me and I will answer. I will show you. Not common things, but great and mighty things that you know not. An apocalypse, an unveiling of that which has been hidden. The Bible tells us that there are certain mysteries that have been hidden from the church. Appointed for a kind and a type of people. And Paul begins to, text, to tell the Corinthian church, he said, I has not seen. That means no dimension of prophetic eye before now will be able to access those archives. They are under lock and key. Have been sealed until the time appointed. The Bible says the prophets kept stretching through their prophetic eyes to look into those times, but it was not given unto them. He said, neither has any ear heard. What God has prepared for them that love him. But the Bible says these mysteries will be granted unto a generation. Not necessarily just because of our prayer lives. It is part of the prophetic mandate of the spirit for a type and a kind of generation. Hallelujah. That generation, that prophetic and apostolic generation that will step in in beauty and light there is a kind of revelation and access into deep spiritual things in other words the knowledge and the access we've had hitherto is good but it cannot sustain us in these new seasons that we're stepping into and so there is a need to cry unto God to say Lord let there be an opening of the seal so that those things that have been hidden aforetime, that the scrolls will be opened and the seals will be broken. So that these things that have been hidden, that even the great prophets could not access, would it be opened unto a generation. But it will always take men who will defy the status quo and begin to press and say, Lord, show us, open our eyes. Open our eyes that we may see. We are tired of recycling messages that have stopped people from moving higher. Oh Lord, that you will break that seal. And the Lord says, if you call unto me, out of that revelation. For when the people of God were in captivity in Babylon, Daniel understood by books that after 70 years it was the time of their liberation and exodus out of Babylon and the Bible says on the strength of that insight he began to intercede and suddenly Gabriel the archangel in service was going to bring the prophetic blueprint he said I Gabriel am come to give thee understanding because every time God sends a revelation it is signified by an angel revelations one by one 1 verse 1. The Bible says the revelation of Jesus Christ which he gave unto his servant John that he should show unto his servants and he gave it and signified it by his angel. Every time there are angels that convey revelations and guide the safe arrival of those revelations. That's why to every church there were angels assigned. Their job is to make sure that the blueprint of the spirits that have been revealed will arrive safely. The Bible says, while Gabriel was on his way, the prince of the power of the air, the spiritual wickedness that governed the territory of Persia, attempted to stop him. And as he continued traveling, he wouldn't give up. The Bible says, Michael, the archangel, came. And that message was brought. There must be a generation. Ruth Heflin left this prophecy before she went to be with the Lord. She said there is a generation that will reveal the glory of God. It will no longer be church as usual. God is doing a new thing. I'm announcing to you. I've shared it here again and again and I've been criticized for it. The old wine has finished. There is a blowing of a new trumpet. It's not the old. He says, after two days, he will revive us. But on the third day, he will raise us up. There are many people who have gone out of sync with spiritual things. 
The sounds of the spirit are now strange and foreign to them because of all of the benefits that may come with ministry. But let me tell you, there are a people who are determined to stay. He said, the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secrets. There are secrets. He will grant you access to do business in deep waters. And you will uncover things. This is what God is training you to become. Happy are you when God finds you faithful. Happy are you when God finds you uncompromising. It takes death to bring certain dimensions of glory into the earth realm. But happy are you. Hallelujah. I want to share with you very powerfully this night. I want to show you by the Spirit of God where the church is in the prophetic blueprint of the ages. It's important for us to know that we are playing prophecy. We are prophecy in motion. Hallelujah. The entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation is an unveiling. An unveiling of prophetic things. Hallelujah. Every story in the Bible, everything that has been written has its natural meaning, but has its prophetic meaning. Everything. An adumbration of the things that God wants to do. The wedding in Cana, for instance, was a type of the old wine and the new wine that is coming to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. It's very important. Thank you, Jesus. The first thing I want to share with you is the current agenda of the kingdom of darkness. I have been very concerned. Please take tonight's teaching very seriously. I have been very concerned at the deafness of even those who call themselves prophets. I'm going to say some things tonight that will disturb a number of you. To the agenda of the darkness. The Bible says that we be not ignorant of the devices. The word devices there means the structure and the methodology. Do not be ignorant. In other words, your ignorance will not become good for you. Do not be ignorant. There is a plot. There is an agenda of darkness. Listen. Every generation and every dispensation has had Satan coming in to corrupt the things that God would want to do. In the Garden of Eden, the Bible says that Satan came in all subtlety, having been thrown down. There was judgment in heaven, the Bible tells us. And Lucifer... That cherub that covereth, who wanted to arise, he said, I will arise and be as the stars of God. I want to be God by myself. And the Bible says there was war in heaven. And he fell with a third of the angels. Isaiah 14 and Ezekiel 28. It was his fall and the preceding judgment that led to Genesis 1 verse 2. And the earth was dark and void, formless. Let me announce to you, that hell is not some mystery. I've said it again and again. Hell is right in the earth. Hallelujah. And hell is not just a location, but hell is a spirit. The Bible says death, hell, and the grave will be cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is not demonic. The lake of fire is part of the kingdom of God. It was designed for the judgment of Satan and all who are in fraternity and partnership with him. So there is an agenda. In the days of Noah, the Bible makes us to understand that the fallen angels, because they have the ability to translate themselves, they started translating themselves and intermingling with the daughters of men. In an attempt to corrupt the race. That was the agenda of Satan during that dispensation. Hallelujah. When God raised a prophet. 
Elijah the Tishbite. The Bible tells us that there was a very strange woman, a prophetic type of the mystery Babylon called Jezebel. Every time God has a, an agenda, Satan always has a strategy and a plot. And not knowing it can cause believers severe casualty. When Jesus began to admonish the seven churches that were spread across Asia Minor, a type of the prophetic churches, a, a type of the church age, for every church that he commended, he began to reveal to them the plots of Satan. For certain churches, he began to tell them that there were certain churches that were the churches of Satan, where Satan sat. Others, he warned them that the strategy of the devil is to make men look warm and to say, I have acquired this wealth. In every generation and every prophetic agenda of God, there is a strategy. The Bible says, do not be ignorant. And I want to share with you right now the strategy that the devil would want to use to cause the sons in light to abort the prophetic agenda that God has for us. You ready? Number one, deception. 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 Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4. Look at me. Deception. Is the art of bringing men into error. Are you listening to me? To bring men into error. To cause a disaligning. To bring men into error. There is a lot. One of the things. One of the biggest problems of the church. And even the church in Nigeria right now. Is the spirit of deception. It's a terrible agenda by the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. And the Bible begins to warn us that this deception can be so great, even the elect can be deceived if care is not taken. There are lots of things going on in our churches and going on in various places. And because many men of God are not standing close to the ark, there's so much deception popular things that look nice but are, are orchestrated by the devil many doctrines that we uphold today they are the doctrines of the nicolaitans metaphysical doctrines they look nice they look great they inspire us but they are not of god how did it become like this one mentor teaching another. Somebody going for conference and getting it. Somebody sharing his testimony. Deception. Hmm. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. God knew that these kinds of things will arise. And it was on account of this that he gave unto men gifts. It's a shame upon the fivefold ministry. That we do not even realize why God anointed and carved out the structure of the fivefold ministry. It's not for jamboree, not for competition, not to show which office is greater than which. Are you there? Verse 7. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and he gave gifts unto men. Those gifts are not talents. Those gifts are people. Now he that has ascended, what is it but he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended, you see that he descended to the lower parts of the earth. Jesus went to hell and the Bible calls it the lower part of the earth. Not the lower part outside the earth. Hallelujah. Verse 11. He gave unto some apostles. Listen please. MOG, listen carefully. He gave unto some apostle. To some prophets. To some evangelists. To some pastors and teachers. Why? 
for launching answer me for building ministries and empires for celebrating vain accomplishments that have no corresponding effect in the spirit the bible says for the perfecting equipping maturing building up structuring of the saints that's why he gave the gifts that they the saints will now do the work of the ministry to the end that we all come into the unity of faith and of the knowledge epignosis accurate knowledge of the son of god unto a perfect man unto the measure of the fullness of the stature of the fullness of christ and even that growth is to an end verse 14 read together that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine now listen he said by the slight of men and the crowning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deception deception there is a lot of deception going on in the body of Christ and a lot of people don't want to speak why because they don't want to they hate the injury let me tell you something if you do not want to stand the pain of ministry go and get a job just go somewhere we have a lot of men of god who are afraid of their ego their reputation and they will not alert the body when there is danger the bible says not many of you should presume to be teachers because you will be judged hallelujah there is a lot of deception in the body of Christ. A lot of Gospels. Colossians 2 verse 8. Can we look at that quickly? Thank you, Jesus. The presence of God is strong in this place. Colossians 2 verse 8. The agenda of the devil. Are you there? One to read. It's projected. Beware lest any man spoil you stop the word spoil there is let any man make you a spoil you know when when let any man plunder you cheat you let any man spoil you through what what is hold on what is philosophy what is philosophy nice well crafted entertaining intelligent intellectual presentation of scripture the bible calls it philosophy and what vain deceit is that in your bible it says after what the tradition of men and after fraternity with this world based on the principles and concepts that have evolved from men who brought it about without the presence of god after the redument this is what is happening in many churches after the redument of this world but not after christ we have emulated a lot of junks and things that have no spiritual bearing we have read all kinds of unbelievers have written entrepreneurial books on how to run a church like a business empire and we have people who are gullible they went for retreats but not to pray they went to sit down and listen to doctrines of devils and they have learned all kinds of demonic ways of manipulation and seductions and they are deceiving the body of christ after the redument of the world are you are you hearing me tonight with my mouth shall i make it known from the rising of the sun right until it's going down i will preach of the mercies of the lord 
Some of us are already being deceived right now. There are all kinds of metaphysical deceit. Please hear me. Some of us in our innocence, we have mentored men that are misleading us in the name of deceit. Praise the Lord. There are many churches right now that do all kinds of satanic and demonic things. The man of God has special members they take to the river. They do all kinds of demonic satanic things because they read the Bible does not mean it's of God. There are men of God that add the word of God with all kinds of satanic books, 12 books of Moses, 11 books of Moses, all kinds of metaphysical, philosophical, sociological junks. We put it together. The fact that you are compromising and seeing results does not mean it's God. There are natural principles. And men by nature are gullible. That a crowd is coming like this does not necessarily verify that we are of God. Hallelujah. Many of us like results. Anything that looks like results we just go hook, line, and sinker. But may the Lord grant us eyes to see. May we see the handwritings on the wall. And see that for many people, it is written, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufesen. God is saying, we have been weighing you for a long time. You have been misleading people. God has been weighing you. But Ichabod, the glory will depart from many churches. And Ezekiel was caught up in the spirit. And when Ezekiel went by the spirit to the temple, he saw the atrocities that were happening in the temple. Yet the men of God were still dressing nice, wearing suits, wearing kaftan like me, having flowers around, but they are not of God. Deceiving people and being deceived themselves. Lord, grant us ears to hear and eyes to see. There are an evolution of erroneous doctrines. Please listen to me. Some of these doctrines have been so long in the body of Christ. They are popular. We like them. You hear them on TV. People can attest to have received results from them. But I tell you the truth, they are not of God. When Moses threw his rod, Pharaoh also threw his rod. And they all became serpents. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come out of her. Come out. It was a cry to the Zion of God. Come out of her. Be not partakers of a hollow tree. So that you will not participate in a, in a plague. And the deception is twofold. Number one, erroneous doctrines. Popular but erroneous doctrines. Well received but erroneous doctrines. Result producing but erroneous doctrines. Number two, listen, look up please. The second, so the first dimension of the deception is a reception of doctrines that may be popular. Listen. Don't get me wrong. Some of the people who advocate these doctrines are innocent people. Genuinely called of God. Hallelujah. The second is deception to come, listen, I think this second one is even more, is worse than the first dimension of deception. Where people refuse to open up themselves to the greater light and the truth of God's word because of their ego and what it will cost them. Are you listening to me? There are men who would rather die than to begin to explore the new things they are hearing to find out whether they are wrong. 
There are churches and denominations that will never change. It doesn't matter even if, it's, if Jesus appears to them. They have built a reputation around their doctrines too much. It, it, they will have to die. Many people will not adjust. Rather, they will criticize any truth that is beyond their comprehension. I, I said it during the teachings, the full, the full gospel. There are people who have mistakenly been convinced that they are the alpha and omega of all the keys of revelation of the kingdom and that the sphere of all that they know is all that there is in God. This is another kind of deception. The best any man can be is an effective member of the body. So we have men who are arrogant. I once had a man of God make a very arrogant statement that even if for any reason he has cause to read another man's book, even if he reads it, he will see a lot of things through that book that even the author did not see. I said, look at it. See that? That's what stopped the scribes from receiving the message of Jesus. Because they had known all the books, the Pentateuch. They were the doctors and philosophers of that time. They had every knowledge that they needed. So when Jesus came with a simple message, thy kingdom come, by your will being done, they rejected it because it did not appeal to them. And when they found out that the whole town was running in sincere hunger, just like many people do today, they began to criticize and made it a point of duty that Jesus would die. But his death only escalated the message. And today, millions and billions of people are receiving this truth. It takes a childlike heart. One of the biggest deceptions in the church right now is the ego to accept the fact that, look, could it be that this that I've held on to, could it be wrong? Or could it be that it may not be wrong, but there is a higher light? Are you listening to me? There are truths that are not wrong. The Bible says he made many lights. Those lights gave illumination in their capacity. But then God made two great lights. Let me give you an advice. You must posture yourself consistently. Listen to me. You must posture yourself. Open up yourself and be in a position of perpetual realignment. Because revelation is progressive. That is a sign that you are making progress in the spirit. As you begin to explore the deep things of God, you will begin to see clearer. The Bible says Jesus touched his eyes and he saw men but he saw them like trees. If Jesus had left him, he would argue that men are like trees. But then he touched his eyes again. And the Bible says he began to see clearly. Open our eyes, O God, that we may behold wondrous things out of thy law. There has been an inaccurate interpretation of the truth of God's word. Inaccurate. And let me tell you something. When it comes... To the accurate interpretation of God's word. It's not about Bible college and theological study. It's about the spirit of prophecy. Because the Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Deception. Some of our family members today have been taught that when they leave a particular man of God, their destiny goes with him. Have you, have you heard that kind of gospel? Where the man of God ties himself and says, you are tied to the oil on my life. If you leave, you will fail. It's called the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. It came from the pit of hell. Popular, result producing, but erroneous. This does not come from God. The reason why many men of God like it is because it's lucrative. 
it has a lot of financial benefits. If I can have 10 wealthy people tied to my oil. Men have just found ways to camp and to ease away their insecurities and frustrations. So they create gospels that try to make them feel secured by threatening people around. It came from the devil. Some of you are already doing it. Stop it tonight. You are being in deception. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. God never gave man authority to usurp authority over another person. The concept of fatherhood and mentorship is not idolatry. It's to guide and instruct in righteousness. Oh, but there is a change. There is a change. I tell you, there is a change. Things will not be as they have always been. There is the hand of God bringing judgment and bringing redemption. Because there are many people that are in this error innocently. Both men of God and people. We used to believe some of these things years ago. But as we began to explore, every time we believed it, something in our hearts told us, uh uh, go back. And like the Bereans, we went back. And when we began to explore, we found out that there were a lot of question marks. They did a lot of filling the gap. And we said, no way. What is supposed to be in that gap? This is what the Lord has been. There are many of you, when you hear a message, it's not like you are cynical. Something in your spirit tells you, go back. Go back. When other people are shouting, whoa. God says, uh-uh. Fill in that gap before you rejoice. Fill in the gap. It's deception. It's deception. Is happening fast fast there are deceptive church growth principles that are taught in ministers conferences deceptive diabolical occultic church growth principles there are deceptive church fundraising principles popular seemingly result producing but hear this voice tonight I'm speaking to you. John said, I am the voice of one. They said, who are you? Where do you belong? Which camp do you belong? John said, uh -uh, this is not an issue of camp. I am just a voice. One of the first assignments of the spirit of prophecy is to destroy the altars of Baal that a new one be built. Deception. The strength of the kingdom of darkness is ignorance. For as long as the body of Christ remains in ignorance, ignorance, the inaccurate understanding of scriptures. Revelation is not an opinion of man, it's an unfailing. Of that which has been hidden and that happens by the Spirit of God deception hallelujah number two agenda of the devil for the church in this season is going to shock you what I'm about to say distractions through religious activities are you hearing what I'm saying destructive religious activities hmm. you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all dominion you have taken all the praise you have made them yours the highest praise to the king he will take all the glory. He will take all the praise. He will take all dominion. He will take all the praise. He will make it yours. 
Paul seeing and speaking to the Hebrew church, he said, we, all things have been made under the feet of Jesus. He said, but we do not yet see. Although, from heaven's perspective, it has been so, there is still a contention in the earth realm. That's why God will use voices to make that a reality. That Christ will submit to the authority of the Father. The church will submit to the authority of Christ. And by the agents of the Spirit, the Spirit and the Bride will compel cosmos to come under the authority of the church. This is the agenda of God for the nations. So there is a plot. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is a, a shoot out from the spirit of deception. Distractions. There is no time in the church age where believers have activities. Everybody say after me, activities. There are, there, are, there are churches that are organizing programs every day. Every day. Every day. That's what they read from their books. Engage the members and they won't leave your church. So they read it. It was written by a business expert and a consultant. It looks popular but let me tell you the truth you can criticize me I'm used to it but I will tell you these things look popular let me tell you where this spirit came from hold on do you realize that when the nation of Israel were in captivity in Egypt hallelujah when Moses came as a deliverer what happened the moment he went to Pharaoh and said God is already making preparation to get the people out Pharaoh said ah let's use a strategy he said give them more work it is because they are idle that they even have the gods to begin to consider an exodus occupy them and when they had the work it was too much they told Moses they said forget about this issue of exodus now because now they are making us look for straw. Every time Satan sees a people waiting. Do you know how many times the Bible talks about the benefit of waiting? I bring you the counsel of the spirit. There is too much distraction. Activities everywhere. Hallelujah. Now, I'm not saying everybody who is involved in this is false. You get my point? I'm just trying to plot out to you. We think the impact is in the motions. But the Bible says it is they that wait upon the Lord. They shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings. There are many men of God right now who are under pressure pressure to do any and everything just finding activities because they believe that once there is motion who taught us facebook twitter the more you create activities the more people come to your side it is that business strategy we brought to the church because we think the church is facebook so we think when we keep engaging the people It will show that we are increasing. The average believer has no knowledge of the truth of God's word that he can use to stand alone. That's why we depend on pastors. People, I'm not saying spiritual authorities and ministers. No, we are not. We have a place in the body of Christ. But where you become so dependent, as though if you leave the person, you will die, you are already on the road to deception. And men of God pride themselves, how many sons and daughters, you know, when people come to me and talk about submission, I feel like running away because I cannot understand what they are saying. Aaron, my son, ah, me. When you visit the secret place, you'll be ashamed of taking some titles. It will take God to force you and say, just for organization. Yet, yeah, this is the pride of people. They fight it. Some men have the effrontery to say, this is my earthly father, but he's my spiritual son. Shame on both the man and his revelation. 
It's a sign of immaturity. We think it is great pride because they clap for you after the statement. Talk is cheap. Distraction. Religious activities where Christ is not the focus. Can I tell you the truth? Look at me. I'm going to tell you a truth you may not hear in many places. Over 70% of the weekly religious activities that are happening in many of the Christian circles are only aimed at increasing the ministry and getting the job going. Christ is less, if at all, a focus in most of these programs. Forget about what we men of God do on stage. We can kneel down and cry and ushers will bring this here and will clean book. Imagine holding. I'm just trying to show you all the benefits. If you gather 100,000 people non stop for 100 days, do you know how much you will raise? Is it lucrative or not? Not to talk of those who will sow into your life by being blessed. Now, I'm not saying every gathering is wrong. But I'm telling you, many of these gatherings are just a, a... They don't teach you. I'm telling you this. They don't share it in congregations. Go, you don't have the opportunity to go for a minister's conference. They will look at you and say, are you a minister? Go out. I am telling you. And people discuss it boldly. But let there be a generation that will not adulterate itself with corruption and error. Many of you will be the only voices some communities will have to hear. The Bible says there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect. Will you allow your voice to be corrupted? There is a way of getting all of these things. Look at me. While I was preparing to come, I was taking my bath and the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. And I was angry in my spirit about the ways people raise money in church. And then the Lord told me something. He said, listen, listen. I don't know of any church in the world. I don't know of any auditorium in the world that can sit 2 million people comfortably. I don't know of any. The largest gathering in the world that has happened is 6 million people within a span of 3 days. Only 3 days. They could not manage them. But Moses worked with more than 3 million people for a long time. How did he cater for their need? What system was used? There is no auditorium I know on earth, church auditorium, that is as expensive as the temple of Solomon. How did they do it? Were the people so wealthy like that? Or was there a spiritual principle we are missing out? They had enough. I don't know one church that has stopped members and said this is enough. Except it's just emotional frivolities by the pastor. You say, oh, it's enough. Don't bring more money. But David meant it. He, was, he had enough to start building the temple. What are we missing, church of the Lord Jesus Christ? distraction there are many of you it is when you started getting unnecessarily distracted that your spiritual life started dying are you following me now you started with god you started celebrating ministrations every day this is how busy my itinerary is in the morning i'm here i don't have time for you i have one in the evening then tomorrow and you started calling it ministry expansion because at the end of it there is an envelope you calculate everything that's somebody's salary your money in a week is somebody's salary and he said lord thank you you spoke to me that the oil of my life will speak be careful because you will not know when you will fall the bible says let he that thinks he stands take heed lest he fall this is what has killed men of God. Many men of God started on fire, but they became administration, administrators. I try as much as possible, and we try in this ministry to do less of administration. God gave us wisdom to create robust administrative structures so that we can focus on the ministry of the word and prayer. Because let me tell you, 
Some of you are already receiving all kinds of invitations. You think that a door is opening means it's God that opened it. Be careful. I pray on every ministration before I honor it. I don't care who is bringing it. You ask the protocol department and they will tell you. Because I do not want to be found doing what God has not sent me to do. When he sends you, he will defend you. When you send yourself, you will defend yourself. Hallelujah. These are unpopular parts. But choose whether to be a celebrity in the eyes of men or to be a voice that men can listen whenever they want to hear the counsel of God. I choose the latter. That I will be a voice. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? Look at me. Many of you may need to make resolutions this night. Look at me, please. Listen. I want you, as you go back this night, go and edit the things you do with your 24 hours and see how much Satan has choked you with activities that have no eternal relevance. I am telling you the truth. Is that true? Just take out time and in all sincerity through the lens of truth and of the word of God, edit your 24 hours and see how many things you do within your 24 hours that actually leads you towards purpose and has an eternal relevance. You will understand that this is a, this is a strategy from Satan to distract us. I've taken out time to edit my life Especially in this phase of our lives. Look at me. There are some things that are not necessarily evil, but they are weights at this level of life. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, Hebrews 12 verse 1, it says, Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. They are not necessarily sins, but they are weights. Lamentations 3.27 he said, it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. Some of you may never be great in life because you are not ready to take the burden now. The strength, the glory of young people is in their strength. Pay the price. Now you have the energy to fast. Some of our parents cannot endure that again. But now you have strength. So take advantage of the strength you have right now. Your mind is still alive and active. Explore. Pay the price. I won't deceive you. You will cry. It will cost you something. But when weeping is done, you will rejoice forever. Let's hurry up. The third plot, Satan, is fraternity with Babylon. Friendship. Friendship with Babylon. The Bible says, love not the world. The word love there is do not develop a lust, a craving. Love not the world or the things that are in this world. The word world there is the word system. Are you listening to me? Some people have religiously said, aha, uh -huh. why are you driving a nice car? Why are you doing this? Why are we buying this? We are wasting money. Please, this is not what the Bible is talking about. This is another religion. It is in category one. You know, the deception thing. No. God is not against your looking good. Lazarus with all his poverty is in heaven. Abraham with his wealth is in heaven. It's not because they were rich or poor that they missed heaven or didn't get there. You can have a productive life on earth and have eternal relevance. I choose that option. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? But it says, love not the world or the things that are in this world. It says, whoever loves the world, period, without argument, the love of the Father is not in him. Loss of the eyes, loss of the flesh, pride of life. Some of us have a craving for vanities. When God wants you to sit down and study, you say, ah, 
There's one car exhibition they are doing somewhere. It's not wrong, but compared to the priority you have, this is vanity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are people who can be in church like this and the word of God is coming with this kind of fire that the word of God is coming. Check what they are doing. They are trying to respond to their friend as if the friend is dying. It can't wait. Were you dead before Facebook or, or all of the, the social media? See, some of you cannot even off your phone to pray. It will be as if pain is choking you. Five minutes, just, what, you just run and say, let me check. If nobody has checked, you will send something. You are waiting for who will respond. This is, this is fraternity with Babylon. That's where some of you learned ungodly attitudes. They wrote poems and jokes that are satanic and anti-progress, anti-greatness. You saw it, read it, absorbed it, and you are using it. See how your life started nosediving. Many people got into satanic relationships. Men of God, online. Now, I know that these things have been used very well. There, is, there are demonic sites that men of God have gone to. Demonic sites. All searching for solutions. Huh? Zodiac. Huh? Zodiac sites. You know them. You are pretending as if you don't know them. All of these sites. Click and see who your life partner is. Or click and see how long you have to live. They say you are dying next week. You say, I'm coming for Koinonia. <laughs> Who asked you to go and click it? You put your date of birth, everything, the name of your intending spouse, it brought out your life. You say you have suffering and death afterwards. <sighs> you just say, I want to see you. Some things have been going on in my life. What is it? You carried your hands and you went and tied yourself. fraternity. Longer throat has taken some people. They've gone to places where they shouldn't go. Said yes to things and people they should not say yes to. He who does not have control over his spirit is like a city without walls. I refuse. I refuse to fraternize with Babylon. Babylon not her methods, not her way of life, because the Bible says, Babylon the great is falling. He said, her and all the kings of the earth that have benefited in her merchandise. He said, this great harlot, Babylon, in one hour her glory has been turned to shame. It will be sudden. And the Bible tells us, come out of her. Come out of her. God is speaking to somebody tonight. Come out of her. Go and re-edit your life. Re-edit your life. There are some of you ladies here. You can have 10 to 20 boyfriends. From the film you watch, they said that's how to be a correct girl. Rich, poor, average, in case anyone that works. You hear a message like this now and think we're just sweating and talking nonsense and you'll be hardened. And if they ask, they say, what kind of man do you want to marry? He say, I want him to be serious with God. He must be a disciplined man. Is it a fair combination? Look at the way your life is. Everybody say after me, I will stand out. I hope as you are laughing, the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. Deception, destruction, fraternity with Babylon. Let me tell you the agenda of God now. We cannot just talk about the things that the devil is doing. What is God doing? The Bible says the sons of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times and they knew what to do. The spirit and the bride say come 
Let me tell you what is happening in the body of Christ right now. Look at me. The Bible says, before the day of the Lord, please listen. It tells us that something is going to happen. What will happen? He said, Elijah shall come again before the day of the Lord. Why will Elijah come? What does Elijah represent? The transfiguration of Jesus Christ. When Jesus was transfigured, two people stood by his left and right. Is that correct? One was Elijah. The other was Moses representing the law and the prophet. Notice that all the people that represent major spiritual truths that should not be aborted, though they died, but their body did not touch this earth. Because their, their representation is an adumbration. Are you listening to me? If Moses' body dies and is buried in the earth, and this is, I'm going to say something that will create a lot of controversy right now. Moses represents the law. This is a very shocking thing. It's against what has been preached. But did you notice that against our popular messages, Moses, his body is not in the earth. Elijah represents the prophet. The prophetic has not finished. So Elijah did not touch the earth. I won't say more than that. Sila, let he that has an ear hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. Popular but wrong. Let's continue. The Bible says Elijah will come, Malachi. It says, before the great day of the Lord. Listen, every time Jesus is about to appear, whether Jesus as a person or his prophetic agenda, Elijah always foreruns him. Are you following me now? Before Elijah came in the New Testament, before Jesus came, what happened? John the Baptist came where? In the spirit of Elijah. The spirit of prophecy and the bible says before jesus will come again there will be a manifestation of elijah so don't be surprised if you see a manifestation of prophets but let me tell you where the problem is wrong elijah is not manifesting as a miracle worker elijah is manifesting to bring accurate knowledge of the understanding of the truth to prepare the church for the coming of Christ are you getting that if you understand this you can test prophecy at once because see the clearest proof that a man is a prophet is not miracles and all of this the clearest proof is that you can bring to us an accurate understanding of scripture this is what tells us that you are in connection with the throne room he said by their fruits. Their fruit is not character. Character can be deceptive. Their fruit is their message. Right now, many people believe if your pastor is a prophet, I apologize. I'm not, I'm not against. I have people that are prophets. I know they are of God. We, we, we have times dedicated. We live in the miraculous here. But I'm telling you, listen to me. The primary function of prophets in this day is not to check how much you have in your account and say, promise, stand up. 331 302 879 1110. That's my account number. <laughs> you see that? And you say, Jesus. Now, that's the manifestation of the gift. But if that is all we think prophecy is about, that's not the true portrait of the spirit of Elijah. The spirit of Elijah first comes, the first assignment is to correct errors by the accurate understanding. This is what we call epignosis. Epignosis is not just a Greek terminology to write books and sell. Uh -uh. Epignosis means the accurate understanding of truth. And this one is by revelation. There is no school that will teach it. The spirit of God will overshadow a man and bet something. Mary said, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. He said, the power of the highest will overshadow you. 
There are men who God is overshadowing right now. God is mantling, closing them like a coven and birthing dangerous dimensions of spiritual truth. That's the spirit of Elijah. When I talk of the spirit of prophecy, I'm not necessarily talking of the office of a prophet alone. Correcting a lot of things. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith? Will he find men who will be able to align and adjust to the corrections of the truth? Are you receiving something? When, listen to me, listen to me. Before the rebuilding of Zion, there will first be a breaking down, a tearing down. Are you listening to me? Then there will be a reconstruction of the house of God, not by the patterns of men. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The sacrifice of Cain and Abel is a type of the old and the new church. It's a prophetic adumbration. What happened? Because Cain is the elder brother, he believed that he understood the rudiments of giving that kind of sacrifice. And the Bible says he wanted to sacrifice and do something for God, but his combinations were wrong. Were they received? And then his brother Abel, which is a type of the new church, came and put that sacrifice according to pattern. So God is revealing divine patterns on how to do spiritual things such that they become acceptable sacrifices. And this will cause the way we run ministry as we know to change for many ministries. Happy are ministries that can align and take the pain and, and forget about the ego and allow it to happen. But for those who will not change, mene, mene, tekel, ufesen. You have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting. Hallelujah. So the first thing that God is doing right now is correcting errors. Let me tell you, don't confuse this. This is what is happening in the body of Christ. God is raising prophetic and apostolic voices who are coming after the order of Elijah. With the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of Jesus Christ. Their focus and everything they do, by votes and leads people directly to the Christ of God. And they will come with grace. They will deliver mysteries that are uncommon. The fact that these mysteries are uncommon does not mean it is not of God. It will be resisted, but that which is born of God always overcomes. So eventually... Light will surpass darkness. It will be strange. When Jesus came, bringing the gospel of the kingdom, the Bible says, the people say, from whence cometh this man? He speaks as one with authority and not as the scribes. The Bible says, when they saw the miracles and the things he did, they said, we have never seen it in this fashion. That means there is a fashion that is coming. And that's why God is preparing you. That you are hearing this message tonight, I want you to know that you are part of the agenda of God. Are you listening to me? That you are hearing this message, whether inside or outside, that you are hearing this message. And for as many around this country and the world who will hear this message and those who are streaming online, I'm telling you that there is an agenda. And for you to be hearing this message, you are part of it. Just as God is using me, there are many prophetic voices scattered around the world. Not many, as it were. But many in that they are within reach. That God is raising. The message is the same. The expressions must be different. Because we are different. But the passion and the communications of the spirit is the same. Preparing the bride. It is the spirit and the bride that will ask this word to come. Can you just pray in tongues as you're seated in one minute? 
Zibratese balada bako sofroto balada bakaria de balada ba. Zimbre de gale balada ba. Zibre gede balada da rosu. Zibre gede balada da da bako sofroto gede balada ba. Zibakata prete shala balada rosu. Yes, Lord, we hear your voice. We hearken unto the voice of the Spirit. And we understand the handwritings that you are writing on the wall. You must open your heart. Some of the things I've shared have challenged some of you. Search the scriptures. And you will find that the word of God is consistent. Come on, just, just express your spirit in, in one or two minutes. The remnant of the house of Jacob, the uncompromising generation, kept under the custody of Obadiah, 7,000 who have refused to bow to Baal. Ventilate your spirit. Just let it find expression. One minute I will continue. Outside, make sure you are stretching. We hear the sounds of the spirit. to the hill of the Lord we press higher in the spirit it may cost us now but we will pay the price we will sow to the spirit we will labor in knowledge, uncompromising. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let it rain. of heaven it rain. Yeah. let it rain would you open the floodgates of heaven 
day the spirit of Elijah will be poured upon the body of Christ and now is that time in the prophetic blueprint of the spirit where those who are interested Elijah worshippers Elijah preachers Elijah businessmen Elijah workers Elijah politicians men crafted forged out of the furnace of affliction with scars that represent their dealings in the spirit men who have endured pain men who have endured tears men who have died to themselves and their agendas Elijah's in the military, Elijah's in business, it's the spirit of prophecy that will testify only of Christ and of his agenda. Listen. When the spirit of Elijah comes, the spirit of Elijah will tear down walls. The spirit of Elijah will first be destructive and then constructive. It will break down patterns that have been built after Babel. For there is a rebuilding of the tower of Babel. But the spirit of Elijah is an audacious spirit is a prophetic and apostolic spirit of prophecy that comes to correct the errors of the fathers to correct the errors and they shall be called the repairers of the bridge they shall rebuild the walls and raise the desolations of all generations they shall be called the repairers of the bridge the repairers of the bridge they will fix that which was spoiled. They will fix that which has been popular, yet not in synchrony, not in tandem with the workings of the spirit. They will have ears that are sharp. They will have eyes with the visions of an eagle. And they will be able to decipher the writings on the wall. They will hearken to the voice of his majesty and will only build the house according to divine pattern. They will introduce a fire that will burn everything and test everything. It will be a refiner's fire. They will come after the order of Elijah that the word of God from their mouth will be like fire. It will burn, it will reshape, it will construct. Pateka barataya. They will be men of power, men of force, men of grace, men of dexterity, audacity. They will have power in the heavens. 
it is during that time that the sun will be turned into blood and there will be signs in the earth there will be wonders because the manifestation of this man I bring to you body of Christ blow the trumpet I come with an apostolic mantle sound the alarm sound the alarm the seasons are changing there is a renaissance a rebirth of the Elijah church correcting the errors of the fathers men of authentic power men of grace men of revelation and insight that have not been taught by any man comparing spiritual things with spiritual that is only taught by the agency of the Holy Ghost those who have searched and understood where the secret place of the Most High is they have found it they've come there and they will abide under the shadow of the Almighty take us to that place let there be a burden of the Elijah church let there be a burden of the Elijah church in Abuja, in Lagos, in Zaria, in Port Harcourt, all over Nigeria. Let there be a button. We blow the shofar. We authorize heaven. Elijah's arise. Elijah's arise. Elijah businessmen arise. Elijah preachers arise. Elijah worshippers arise with the spirit of prophecy which will only testify of no denomination of no sect but the Christ of God kingdoms will rise against kingdoms doctrines will rise against doctrines nations will rise against nations there will be a clash of light and darkness and the church of the Lord built upon the rock shall stand Tried by fire, men who have been battered from the furnace of pain and affliction with no agenda of their own whatsoever. This is a message from the Lord to the body of Christ. The spirit of Elijah cometh. Spirit of prophecy. There will be a restoration of the accurate interpretation of the truth of the word. Accurate. Accurate. Given by the Holy Ghost, the one who inspired it, accurate interpretation of scriptures. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. The Lord told me that what will begin to happen is an exposition of darkness. You will hear things on media that will shock you. Darkness will be exposed. The veils that have covered the eyes of men for years will be exposed. 
Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufasen. I sound it and I prophesied as I was commanded. Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufasen. The altars of Baal. Judgment is coming upon the body of Christ. And there will be a smashing down. For many have been weighed in a balance and they have been found wanting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After the destruction of the altars of Baal, the next will be a fresh walk upon the saints preparing them for the last apostolic revival that will be coming upon the earth that will be the next mission of the spirit of Elijah first to tear down walls to correct error and then to begin to rebuild the saints there will be a restoration of the true apostolic the true prophetic the true evangelistic, the true pastoral and teacher offices. Then once again, men will begin to call upon the name of the God that will not be strange unto them. Men will begin to call upon the God that they know and have a working relationship with. And I tell you friends, when that begins to happen, it will announce the greatest revival. Smith Wigglesworth prophesied it. The generals of old prophesied it. I announce to you, there is coming a revival. Everything that will be shaken will be shaken. The newspapers will no longer carry stories of politicians the captions will be the fire of the spirit our media we will not need to pay to go on air the impact will be so great it will make news the fire will fall in nations you did not expect and then after that the heavens will be open and once again we will see him the king of kings the lord of lords the alpha and the omega he will come gloriously upon the silvery cloud and his feet will not touch the earth and the victorious church now without spot or wrinkle will be caught up and we will meet with him and it will begin another dispensation and then the spirit and the pride we say come lord come lord yes to your agenda yes to your agenda yes to your agenda we make way for the coming of the lord jesus we make way for the revival jesus is coming preachers don't preach it again i'm telling you jesus is coming with the blast of the archangel he will come for a victorious church his coming is soon that's why the spirit of elijah is released upon the body jesus is coming this same jesus whom you have seen go to heaven will return in the exact same manner i bring you a message jesus christ is returning to planet earth jesus christ is returning it will happen it's not a myth it's not a legend a day will come there will be no more business there will be no more APU. An agenda bigger than it will unfold. We are at the ending periods. Let him that has an ear hear 
and give priority to the agenda of the spirit every other thing will become temporal but only one agenda will stand Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, hear me. This is what God is doing right now. Right now. If you've ever tried to find out where the church is in prophecy, this is what God is doing right now. Any church, any man of God, you find with the spirit of Elijah tearing down the walls of Baal and building people is a true church. This is how you will know them that are of God and them that are not of God. And all the sorcerers and magicians and the soothsayers and the necromancers that appear they will fall together with Babylon many people who are prayed for here sometimes they don't even know I wish we had time I would have ministered to everybody one by one but miracle services cannot afford that our time is very short nobody's married in your family all the sisters no marriage they are fine they are virtuous all the things we've taught they have it a lady came one time to come and see me for prayers when I had the lady talking suddenly I began to sense the power of God leaving my body I knew something was wrong I told her all right my dear come as soon as she came a beautiful lady opens the door the next thing I saw her, an old woman of maybe about 150 years entering that's what I saw she sat down and I just calmed down. I was saying, God, what is all this nonsense now? And the lady was talking to me and crying. From one relationship to the other. Some, even as far as going to do introduction. They've done everything. God will just say, I'm not doing. Why? Don't ask me questions. I'm not doing. Then what happened? When they tell us, we say, provoke with the seed. And the demons help you hold the seed. Now, I believe in the place of seed faith. I believe it. Maybe we'll do it this night. I believe it. Hallelujah. A miracle happened in CGC. There's a man that teaches, I think he gave testimony one day. The wife, the baby was fine. Normal. The next thing they said, I don't know the name of all these ladies' things. I thank God I don't know it. They just said something is wrong, Sean, that um, if they don't handle it well, whatever, these things will not go well. That's all I know. But I know Jesus was doing good. So if I'm representing him, I should do good. I told the man, I said, Wes, call your phone. Let's speak to that baby. You can't be stubborn from the womb. The Bible says John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Behave! Behave. You are not born yet. You started giving your family members headache. And I spoke to that child. I said, turn to your normal position and come out the way God ordained a child to come out. This is not man of God. This is kingdom authority displayed with understanding. Let me tell you how you will know that there are legal operations of demons in your life. When you have prayed about certain things and fasted about it, come as a family and pray. There are some people that have prayed dry. Dry. A lady is praying against lust. She's on seven days dry fasting. The sixth day she's sleeping with somebody. You need help. Are you listening to me? And the Bible says then he gave gifts to the body. You see why some people are called gifts? They are not just called gifts because of bragging. That's why God will punish any man of God he gave an anointing and he's just using it to do every kind of merchandise. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Before your presence came and changed me. Let's round up quickly. 
So what is our mandate? Luke 10, 19. I love miracle services, I'm telling you. Luke 10, 19. Are you there? Let's read. One to read. Behold, hold on. See, conceive this as a reality in your spirit. Settle it that this is not a lie from God. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents. That's what many of you see in your dreams. There is a reason God said to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over how many? How many? All the power of the enemy. He says, and nothing. That's why I cast out devils and sleep like a baby. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. This is another wrong, erroneous teaching that people teach. They say, man of God, when you pray, have some reinforcements. Wake up by 12 o'clock. Please go and sleep, for God's sake. If you had enough authority to cast out the devils, what suddenly happened to the authority? This is fear. Another teaching again is this. Look up, please. I now told you the concept of calling your father or your mother or your brothers and sisters witches is because of men of God. Are you listening to me? And because of erroneous teachings. These men of God or these prophets, they see from the realm of the spirit these demonic manifestations I'm talking about. Either as a result of legal stronghold, the next thing, they say, young lady, your mother is a witch. Either because they saw some demonic things. The Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. The spirit of Christ does not create controversy in homes. Many prophets have come to make certain men leave their wives after three or five children. Say the only solution is to leave. And some of our parents, our families were divorced today because of a so-called revelation from prophets or deliverance people. This is wrong. The spirit of Christ brings love. Every gift that comes from God, every good and perfect gift, the Bible says, comes from above. Hallelujah. So, I can look at this sister now and see an oppression of darkness. Or sometimes, well, I don't talk to demons. Sometimes they don't just keep quiet. Hallelujah. Jesus said they cried out. And sometimes they are just shouting. Oh, it's my mother that did this. And maybe the brother or sister is here. I say, ah, mother. You go back now, your mother says, come on, darling, how are you? You say, oh, no, no. So you are responsible for my... Calm down. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. While it is true that certain people can make themselves willing agents of darkness, the real battle is between spiritual wickedness. So you were sleeping, and you saw your roommate in some kind of way. You just say, man, his roommate... Forget to. I won't eat our food again. I won't drink our water again. I won't do anything. Who is teaching you this kind of thing? The Bible does not teach that. It said they shall drink deadly things and it shall not hurt them. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? Go and teach others. Because tonight God will do mighty things. So I give you power. Second scripture. Luke 9 verse 1. We'll hurry up. This is the major work we are doing. Those outside say, Praise the Lord. Everyone read Luke 9, verse 1. One to read. Then he called his disciples together and gave them power and authority over who? And to gave them authority. I'd like to announce to you today that the Lord has given us authority. Hallelujah. Yes, he gave us authority. Say, I have authority. And Satan will leave. Afflictions will leave. Incurable diseases will leave. And breakthrough will come in the name of Jesus. One more scripture and then we are ready to pray. Mark 16 verse 17. Affect my life, breathe on me as I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe 
feed on me and these signs shall not follow cynical people who are asking rubbish questions this night whether or not this is making sense he said this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they shall that's the first thing you will do as a sign in my name see how the bible deals ruthlessly with satan you are not supposed to keep talking this is the problem i have with deliverance everything satan no 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 but we have a ministry to cast him out of our life say the enemy has done this can you look at your life and say the enemy has done this i now see the enemy has done this the enemy has done this havoc for my sister the enemy has done this so that you don't pray and miss and i have good news for you over two thousand years ago exactly at this time jesus hung upon the cross and he made three powerful words it is not it was not it will be it is finished i like you to prophesy it is finished affliction is finished cancer is finished hiv is finished demonic oppression is finished that's what the bible says listen you must announce to principalities and powers that i am born again the blood of jesus has made way you are an illegal occupant and by faith and the authority of the lord i will now enforce that which has been finished on the cross this is the legal basis of victory it's not just because you fasted or prayed fasting does not change god it changes you it's faith that moves god i fast and pray but your fasting doesn't do anything to god it positions you to release your faith for results hallelujah are you listening to me the legal basis is that the blood of jesus speaketh better things not just than the blood of cain and abel but every other ordinance the bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to the cross is passed but satan will refuse until you enforce it by the authority of the lord jesus and this is our job tonight we have not come to do any new thing this is what i want to teach you there's nothing tonight that we are doing that is new we are only going back to tap the reality from calvary and make it a present tense reality this is the balanced gospel of redemption and one of the greatest person that has affected my life is the general of god i cried when he went to be with the lord tl osborne he was one man that demonstrated the reality of the kingdom more than any man i know hallelujah thank you jesus joblessness barrenness delay stagnation mental blockage sicknesses you name it we now know the devil that is in charge but the bible says for this purpose god organized koinonia meeting tonight for this purpose that he will annihilate i vowed unto god i said i will never pastor or lead any ministry where there is no demonstration of the superiority of light over darkness i won't come and teach people about the god who was and say i remember in 2001 somebody was healed what is he doing today jesus christ the same yesterday the same january miracle service the same february miracle service i bring you good news tonight the lord is in the house and he's here with his full authority and how nice it is that today is good friday he went about doing good on a good friday he went about doing today is not called bad friday it's called good friday rise up on your feet and let's charge ourselves in the spirit for a few minutes walk around in the next five minutes and begin to prophesy inside and outside come on come on walk around and begin to declare satan is behind
every sickness, every infirmity. Satan is behind poverty, he's behind delays. But today, by the finished work that is in the name of the Lord Jesus, there will be victory tonight. Rapa kata laba sata, ma prakata pragedeba, rapa ta prakese pragede, rakata baladaba. Make sure you're praying. Rapo sho prakete lekoto. Hallelujah. Now listen, those of you inside and outside, we just have one minute to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. You're going to say, you're going to pray for yourself and your family, and say, Satan. Now I know you are responsible and you are going to get out of my life, my family, my finance, my marriage. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You appear as terminal disease, but you are a devil of darkness. You appear as delay, but you are a devil of darkness. You appear as barrenness, but you are a devil of darkness, joblessness. Whatever tree has not been planted by our Father, that tree will be uprooted. Pray. Say tonight is my night of deliverance. It's my night of healing. It's my night of emancipation. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Now look up, please. Everyone look up. So, through territorial influences, Satan can gain grounds over a man's life, although he's born again. The second way Satan gets to influence people is through what I call strongholds of the mind. That's why the Bible says the moment you get born again, the next assignment is to begin to renew your mind because look at me your mindset is like a door in the realm of the spirit it can allow the activities of heaven it can allow the activities of demons are you listening to me so because of wrong teachings or our society we have had mindsets that have become strongholds permanent gateways so even when you pray and minister healing and deliverance what happens the bible says when a demon leaves a man because it is now it does not have a material body to find expression it becomes uneasy after a while what happens it says since i've been legally casted let me now use the mind and it comes back to check the man he finds the house swept clean but empty you have not filled yourself with the word and it gathers seven other demons more than itself and it comes back to the man listen this is the problem I have with many deliverance houses. They don't concentrate on people getting born again. They don't concentrate on people receiving the word. They just concentrate on casting out devils. So they now cast out devils. Are you listening to me? In a lady who probably does not believe that sex before marriage is wrong. That's a mindset. It has become a stronghold. Is that correct? So the demons will leave. But her mindset will bring them back. Listen. When believers are set free, they must keep their healing. They must keep their breakthrough by doing what? Building fortification. That's why we spend three weeks teaching the word. So that when you are set free, when you are delivered, what happens? The word of God builds fortification in you. That kind of mindset deliverance is by the word. So he sends forth his word. And his word heals your mind and delivers you. It's not enough just to come for miracle service. It's important to participate in all of the services. Because as we teach what happens, you build fortification in the spirit. Then you get to a point like Jesus where Satan will come and will not find anything of himself. Then you now become a deliverer to others. He said, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the children of Jacob shall possess their possession but not until there is a deliverance upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and a spirit of holiness and then what happens people will begin to possess their possessions tonight satan will return some things he stole ah because the bible says when you catch a thief 
It's in Leviticus. When you catch a thief, you will say, I'm sorry. No. They didn't hear, I'm sorry. He will restore sevenfold. Sevenfold is the minimum. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to take back some things? I'm reaping the harvest God promised me. Take back what the devil stole from me. And I rejoice today. For I shall recover it all. Yes, I rejoice today. Hallelujah. Now, before I begin to minister in the anointing, we're going to pray one prayer. I want you to be honest and open tonight. Listen, listen, we're a family. I truly prayed and cried and wanted you to be free. Listen, you're going to say, Lord, if there is any force of darkness at work in my mind or my life, listen, or my family, I open myself tonight. Let tonight be a separation between me and Egypt forever. I must move forward. You must humble yourself and pray. Are you listening to me? Open your mouth and pray, everyone. Those outside pray. The Holy Ghost is everywhere. Time up, Satan. Over the lives and the destinies of people, we announce an expiry date for you, which is right now. Tonight is Good Friday. Over our lives, Jesus said it is finished. We believe it. Jesus said it is finished. Oh, hallelujah, he's really I'm excited, I'm excited Someone is walking free tonight I tell you, a door is open tonight Pray Pray Yes Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a shout of the king in this house. Come on, help me. You don't know this song. There's a great anointing working. Oh, the spirit of the Lord is here. Spirit have your way in us. In us today. Spirit, spirit take control as we change. As we change. Now I see the angels of the living God. Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw, oh yes, oh yes, gates will be lifted. Ancient doors, inside and outside. Let your faith reach out now. Let your faith reach out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to shout. Just a shout. Listen. Just a shout once. My God. Kabata Kaya. Kapra Dele Kaya. Embrozata Prata Dadaba. Rakata Prosata Libariata. De Kaya Kabam Brastaya. I want all the people out. Ushers, please be effective. Listen, just one shout. I'd like you to shout it with all your heart. 
I tell you the truth, devils will be shaken from their foundation. Are you listening to me? No power of darkness will stand the fire power that is in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? All the instruments together in the Hebrew we call this Tehillah. It's a shout of praise. Are you ready to shout? After the count of three. One, two, three. inside and outside now according to the unction and he gave us power i speak to you inside outside territorial spirit i confront you at the count of three you will go you will go i see a mighty deliverance in this row one two three go 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 Go, 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 go. Bring them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. Outside. Outside, in the name of the Lord Jesus, every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now, be exposed now, be exposed. The fire of the Lord outside, the fire of His presence. 
exposed outside. No demon stands. Every affliction go outside. 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 The power of God is falling. They took the barricade. They get the crash. The Kapaya. Outside. The power of God is falling. I see angels. 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 Move across the ground. Come out of her. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon you. Now in the name of Jesus. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Come out of her now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go. Go, go, go. Out of her right now. Out of her. Out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her. Come out of her now. Thou foul devil. I see a snake. Out of her. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Come out of her. I fake my life. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Kaparata bakata, bekete 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 must open up are you listening to me i said your destiny must open up therefore every power i speak by an apostolic unction every demonic force you're going to shout jesus once and the power of god will move across my god let your fire move are you ready those outside one two three Come out, 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 
Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. Bring them in. Bring this girl. Bring that ladies. Bring her, bring her. Just look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Come out now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at it. Hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age. Look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out. You shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Your time is up. Thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for her destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on her back. Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Since you will not come. Hello. 
I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia. The pros. Sosova. Rabate. Liver, liver, liver. Nobody should hold her. Come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies I said come and meet me here don't stay there it's time for the lady to go someone has someone has a problem one ear you feel like there's water you practically cannot hear very well with it who is that person who is that person one ear you feel like there's water or something please who is that inside or outside hurry up come quickly you which of them it will be open right now put your hands there as i command that deaf and dumb spirit to go in the name of jesus let her go now go be healed Mama, salvation has come for you right now. Which of the ears? This one, put your hands there. That devil is a liar. Look, just put a finger inside. Go! Go! Come out! Come out of her! Come out of her right now! You are a deaf and dumb spirit. In the name of Jesus, let her go! 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 I set you free. Check it. Check it. Someone check her. What do you feel? No, no, really. I'm free. Look at. My water there again. Look at. Instant miracle. Come. What happened, Mama? What? Look at me. What used to happen before? I'm not. Uh, before, I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes I'll be hearing something. Uh, waka inside. But now, not. Look at this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes. This is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies. Madam, you are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears? She had moms. So it affected she had her what? moms on her left ear. Moms. So it affected Bond. both. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, our deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. of the Lord Jesus. Your reign is gone in the name of Jesus. Someone test her. There's someone. Come, sister, you. Yes, come. I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. You will be free right now. Hmm? I bring you life. I bring you healing. And perfection. In the name of Jesus. Now. All those with any heart conditions. All those with any heart conditions. Heart condition of whatever kind. Please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poopy a bit. And hard condition. Okay. Your ear. 
both of them both ears look at me ah the power of God is going to you come out of him now thou foul devil I open your ears check him check him do what you couldn't do check him please let the ministers do it heart problem heart problem please can you shift this I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want you to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain here. Come. Hold on, hold on. I pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You Buddhist sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet songs. Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. Com Please help me with the mic. It's gone. Completely gone. It's gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen I to you? Used to, used to feel pains. Yes, when I came in. I was when you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? I don't know what happened, but the pain just started yesterday. Yeah, but you are you not are serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Some foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Come, my sister. Who is Necker? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happens? It used to pain you. What do you mean it used to pain you? How sharp pain always. Sharp pain? Yes. How long? Is your sister? Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You are free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go. You see something for me like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now. Come. She's free. 
bless you. Madam, what's wrong with you? My two brothers. Your two brothers? Uh, they, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no, hear well? They are ears. Okay, they are ears. Yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for t- ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is. Brother, you are not very fine, oh, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and will start ministering to people. In mass, what's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out in the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something quickly. No coughing inside corner auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Jesus name that pain leaves you forever in Jesus name sister come what's your name Jane Jane where are you from my state of origin Benue. because the same way you are dressed that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit but the only thing is your face is covered are you listening to me but the Lord will set you free what did you come for I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movement around your body? Presently, I'm feeling shaky. Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus and set this lady free. You're free. so desirous of help because I see the spirit of anger. You can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Come out! Out of her! Come out of her right now! Foul spirit of wickedness! In the name of Jesus! This is a very nice girl. Oh. This is a very nice girl. But when that spirit comes, she can break this bottle and tear your head with it. You must go. <laughs> I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way and build your life with the word of God. 
I set you free. Right now, no more anger. Look at me. You are not free yet. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you are free. Leave her. You are free. She's free. My dear, no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart. Careful, careful. Come here, bring her. Bring her here. Come out now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you right now. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Now you must leave. You've tormented this girl for a long time. Out of her right now. In Jesus' name. You must go out. Your exodus out of her life with a loud shout i instruct you to leave now at the count of three one two three Now, now, now. Out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. for altar call before I finish just run and come and stand huh you you know what I'm saying right it makes sense to you huh you're not gone you must go I see you in the spirit go come out of her be silent speak no word go out What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. Jesus set you free. You're free now. In Jesus' name. Leave her.
Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. I see like claws holding this lady. Now, go. In peace. And I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. <laughs> My brother, like I said, what do you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Abba. Nka shower, nka shower. Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started, what happened? Who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. I mean, myself. You started by yourself. Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. Free. Jesus. Come, it's your time to go out. Oh yeah. Sir King Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of none effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. Salama. Salama.
very pretty lady, wonderful lady. They shall lay hands. Now you must leave. I bring you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three, quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> three. Oh, I go. Quietly. Quietly. You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye-bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, he's going. He's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. This is a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say a terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. It cannot leave until she's on her back. I said, turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. He's bringing everything. When she lies on her back, he's going quietly. I don't understand some of these things. We are still learning. So you lie and go. There's an angel standing close to her. That's why I told you people don't bother. Now, we're going to minister. We'll have to hurry up. If you brought somebody who is sick, please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have your water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me, look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's all. Go. My dear, look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead. Touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord go in Jesus name for how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way how can you 
When you don't know the way of the speedway How can you fly like eagles When you don't know the way Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer requests quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleeping. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, please. Please come and stand here. Get set to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer point. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastors up. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give her now. Go. You're free. Next. Please quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go. You're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. What did I say? Peptic ulcer. Fire upon you right now. Quietly go. Peptic ulcer, you come. Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out, out, you're a wicked spirit. Come out, I've seen you. Out. You said she will not marry, she wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please, quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh
your deliverance come your salvation has come it's your time to smile run and come I say run look at what she's doing and prosperity you have cried this lady loves the Lord but she has suffered you have seen you have suffered aha I'm seeing a cake and it's a wedding cake this is what the Lord shows me the name of the Lord Jesus I release you into this place. where's the lady I asked her to come where's the lady 
sister, look at me. Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I'll find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go! Go! It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. The prayer request, please bring them out quickly. If you didn't write those on Facebook and all our members, please, if you cannot have it, no problem. Hold on. There are two ladies. Please don't be ashamed. Okay? The Lord asked me to call out the case. Don't be ashamed. Okay, three people. You are suffering from is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no okay. You are suffering from this is a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding, and this is uh, please. We are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why we are farming your faith. There's no this is miracle service. This is not a conference, it's a miracle service. Hallelujah. Please take away her bag for a while. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. Keep looking. Fire upon you. I expose you, foul spirit of darkness. Now, but wetting stops forever. It's a spirit. She has a dream. This is I'm seeing the dream that this lady has now. She has a dream. They are pouring water, and she's standing there. Later, the water becomes a bathroom, and she wakes up and sees. You will look and think she's an irresponsible lady. Some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place. You like talking about people. See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right. When you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells. And he's doing wonders. Sister, I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, I'm speaking to you, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, aha, come out of her. Now I've seen you, come out of her, foul spirit. Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see, out of her, what is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a band. Remove it. Take it away. 
Remove it. Let everybody see. I said, remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You're a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha! Out! Come out of her right now. You're a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kabarakata Krento Sadilaka Repatarita Rabata Batoso Pregete Rekata Pariata by the fire power of the spirit? Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you'll be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. With both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. You're a good usher, so you will come out of her. Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch. From today, just look at it. This is demonic. This is nonsense. Huh? And I am come that ye may have life. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said. It is the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Please hang on because I'm going to prophesy. This is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people. But first, let's play on this request. Sas, please can wake up. All of you stretch your hands inside and outside. Please stretch your hands on your request. Look at my eyes. I have seen you in the spirit. Hapa, rata, rakata, parekete ke parata posoto, rabandeke parika, ratosko petalia, regete ke teke teke de beleba, rapatosko prenda, raposko par, reteke teke telekete, rebako paratosko pa, rapaskia. Fire upon you right now. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of her. Come out. She loves the Lord, but you will not oppress her. Come out. This, this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh, yes, you must.
Go, go, I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. Kaparata. Rabrete keterete. Rabaka paratapa. Babriata. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. Go. <laughs> Please be praying on the request. Don't let's save time. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One, two, three. Go. In Jesus' name. Go. Go. In Jesus' name. With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Hmm? Please, when people stand up like this, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in okay it's not all about deliverance there's you need grace all right we have finished with satan so you need to have something my dear god will do great things through your life you may look weak in yourself but when he overshadows you that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing hallelujah lift your hands look at me my god there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus, Rabapa Kopresh Taraba. Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer, 
answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the Spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, I like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it with all that you have. Lift your hands. Something will happen in this place right now. For he never sends us alone. He leaves us a witness. Jesus. I want to impart gifts, anointings, graces. Help me instrumentalists. At the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass, everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, Babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive spiritual things. Babarata, Rababa, Robosha, Rekea, Reboshata, Rabaria, Paros, Korekata, Mapeto Sodia, Rendekete Legete. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen. Just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just to do it. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God. I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, move. Fire! Fire! Let it 
become like rain. Prophetic experiences. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you in a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, favor anointing, fall, 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 Favor, favor, favor. Let it hit you, let it hit you like tornado where you are, like a fireboat. Aparata kaba, baka brata rata, teke ke te ke te te I want to prophesy breakthrough. 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 Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Higher. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, the breakthrough anointing. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Miracle jobs, marriages, barren women receive, barren women receive all kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances. Within the next 30 days. Many of you don't know what the anointing of the spirit. I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman. Don't be foolish. Within the next 30 days. Lord, confirm your word. If you have sent me. Let the fire come. Listen, this is what I'm doing. I pick you from where you are financially. I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night I set you free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any building project that your parents are in in the name of Jesus 
within the next seven days let the finance to continue it i put it prophetically upon your hands in the name of jesus Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs, I call April a month where you will experience turnaround. The Bible says, And Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics, receive grace. For your academics, receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not dull. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's result. I call it excellence, distinction, where you made mistakes. We correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus, I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase, multiply, advance, move forward. I break you free from habits, any habit you have been struggling with, any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. Listen. Listen, we're rounding up. I don't do this all the time, but please, everybody, package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please, this is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it for yourself, some of you for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seed. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the strings of it. Many of you do not know. The, we don't neglect spiritual principles. We only put them in place. Honestly. Honestly, hear me. If God is God and we are serving him truly, something will happen to your finances that will surprise you. Some of you are standing in for your families. You just hold on and see. I have tried this thing. It has worked. Lift it. Many of you, as you are holding it, you will see what will happen to you before you drop. Lift it up. Jesus. I didn't call myself, oh Lord, you called me. To bless your people, to lift your, please lift it for yourself and family. Hold, just hold it. Just hold it. Just keep it holding. Keep it holding. Some of you are under financial curses for your family. Just keep it up. That's what I want to break. A sacrifice brought that curse. Let a sacrifice take it out. Go! 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 
Go! I break the curse. Go! 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 Lift it up. Go! Go! I break the curse. Go! It's a curse. It's a curse upon individuals and families. Lift it up. Make sure you package something that will touch you. I break it. It took sacrifice to bring the curse. Lord, we lift this sacrifice like that of Abel. I terminate poverty. You are a spirit. Go. Bakareka. Rekepa. Rapo I create a sound of abundance in the spirit. I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Hallelujah. Father, these hands that are lifted, please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives. Let everyone who identifies with this ministry, I prophesy the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity. I release it upon your life right now. I release it upon your life right now. Creativity beyond your imagination. Visions of ideas. Destiny help us. For your family members. Those who need jobs, take jobs. Those who need business ideas, receive it. Those whose business are dying, I resurrect it back. I put the life of God into it. Let the dry bones come alive. I speak to this seed. Lord, this will not be the last seed they will give. But may this be the least you will give. Because of the degree of abundance. Ushers, quickly. Yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. All our services are powerful. It's just that the miracle service is a special service. Quickly, quickly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We are soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why? Hold on. Part of the reasons why people don't wait. Except they have something serious. Do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this? Is because of demonic activities. They keep making them uncomfortable. And they leave because of certain blessings. Listen, not every man of God is out to destroy you. God sends people to lift you. I promise you, you will never be the same. Hallelujah. Now, it's not just enough to be prayed for, to be healed, to be released. You must grow in the word. I can't tell you this enough. There are many of you who only come for miracle services because you want, you won't grow that way. You must be taught the word. Subject yourself to the teaching of the word. The Bible says, I commend you to the word of his grace, which is able to keep you and to give you an inheritance. He said, according as his divine power has given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue. The next verse says, Wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises, that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. Subject yourself to the word. You must be taught the word. You must grow. There's no shortcut to greatness. There's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of God. Everyone, please stand up. Right now, I'm inviting those who... I don't need to do any special cajoling. 
all those people that I told them it's time to get born again now it's your time to run out and come out here everyone who wants to give his life to Jesus Christ or you have once given your heart to the Lord and you've run and this say stand please you are not coming to me hallelujah inside and outside Jesus loves you now is the time of salvation we do not condemn you leave your seat and come if you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing no problem just come outside there are a number of you outside God is calling you leave your friend come thank you Jesus Koinonia celebrate them this is the biggest miracle come God bless you bless you sister bless you my brother don't stop God bless you you need Jesus is the fountain of life he's the one we represent here he's the one we exalt there is only one name not any man of God not Bishop Stan not Pastor Jakes not Joshua Selman Jesus and him alone I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind Jesus is calling you Jesus is calling you thank you sister thank you sister hallelujah now look at me all of you who have come here God bless you thank you so much for coming I want you to know that you will never be the same in Jesus name this is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very very loud say after me Lord Jesus it's not a poem say Lord Jesus I love you I believe you died for me I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself today I make Jesus Lord of my life I denounce sin and Satan I declare that I'm born again the life of God is in me and Satan will go go was he praying and what, what was I saying and Satan will live my life forever in the name of Jesus come out of us she's making Jesus Lord of her life you're a foul spirit out out you're a wicked spirit go this is this is authentic born again authentic one that comes with a dramatic change many of you got born again you were laughing from the beginning to the end you don't even know what happened to you this is what they call old time religion born again the one that will leave a mark in your life you won't forget unfortunately those who talk about old time don't go far enough they mean religious born again acts of the apostles holy spirit come and live in me from today i am yours in the name of jesus i'm a child of god i break free from addictions in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate them. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life. To make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day. From today, you're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jakes is meeting with you tomorrow by by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please, ushers, make sure you remind them. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Hallelujah. Now, if you're worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we're out of time. Please, I'd like you to run and come out quickly. We want to bless you. Appreciate them. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Confidence is come out here. You'll be the first to receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's a visitor, but you must leave. Don't go back the same way. Hallelujah. When we say we have a blessing, we are not joking. We really mean it. Come quickly. Thank you for coming. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you'll never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he'll make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you 
I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We'd love to see you again and again. And we pray that by the power of the Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially, and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.